What's going on you guys? How you doing today? So today we're going to be taking a look at the Aroken Moon Puzzles that you guys will find on Lua. And these are going to be getting you Drift Mods. Drift Mods are cool to sell for Platinum and they're also really good for you guys to have for your Warframes. They add um, a little bit of, uh, I guess, kind of like bonus stats onto your Warframes. They're definitely recommend, I definitely recommend having them. Uh, some of them you're going to find very useful, but... Let's get right into it. So, first test we're going to take a look at is the agility test. Now, the first thing you want to do for the agility test is you want to look for this glowing plate that's hanging up on the wall. Once you hit that glowing plate, it's going to open up these, like, organs that basically you want to jump into and they're going to, like, launch you out of them. Now, as you guys can see, what I'm doing is I'm basically trying to shoot myself up really high to get to a platform so that I'm not basically just, you know, bouncing around in the air because as soon as I hit the floor, if I hit the floor, the test completely just starts over again. Like, I, I will basically have to start from scratch. So, the little trick that I use is I'm basically just launching myself up um, to, like, a platform that's above so I don't technically hit the floor at the bottom to restart it. And I'm basically just looking for, like, the plates on the wall. So, every time I get shot through an organ and I land on top, there's another plate that I'm supposed to hit. So thank god they have this platform up here that you guys can launch yourselves to because this is definitely a pain in the butt to do if you're just kind of doing it while you're floating through the air without actually landing on the platform. It's completely doable and I know people have done it, but this is just my little way around it to make it a little bit easier for you guys. And that's kind of what I'm going to sh what I'm going to do in this. I'm going to show you guys like the easiest ways to get through these puzzles, but Basically, let's just take a look at, you know, like, what's what's going on here. So, really, we're just looking to get shot out of a pipe, um, land on the platform, we're going to look for the next plate, and then once we find the next plate, we're going to look for the next set of pipes that open up, and we want to jump into those and get shot back out, and we're just basically rinse and repeating. We're just doing the same process over and over again, but each time, we're making it further and further so that more pipes are opening up as we get higher and higher up. The one thing that you guys want to know for this particular one is that when you get to the last set of pipes, um, it's not that easy for you to launch yourself through. It's totally doable and you guys can do it. It's possible. I just, to make it easier, I use a Loki and when I finally hit the last set of pipes, what I do is I basically just put a decoy up there and then I switch teleport myself so that I didn't have to worry about, you know, keep, I, I don't have to worry about it, I keep getting launched through and I miss it for whatever reason. So that's just kind of a little hack that you guys can do if you guys have a Loki. If not, it's still doable without him. I just find this to be the easier way to do it. So once we get into that top part, you guys can run through that portal and you, you wind up picking yourself an agility drift mod. So the next puzzle we're going to take a look at is for coaction drift. And when you guys see a room that looks like this, this is basically for the coaction drift drift mod. And um, you're definitely going to want like a second person with this. You're definitely going to want somebody to help you out. I've heard that it is doable with a single person, but it, it's going to take a lot of specters and it's it's really I don't think it's worth the hassle for you guys to do it by yourselves. Um, I definitely would just run in here with somebody. And basically, you're just going to kind of play a game of leapfrog, where basically one person goes, you know, to the next step, um, open, and once that person gets to the next step and they step on that plate, it's going to open up two more plates that the person behind them now goes in front and steps on that set of two plates that you just opened up. And then you basically just, you know, like, leapfrogging through this puzzle, which is basically the way to do it. Once you guys get into one of the corner rooms on the side, there's another plate at the bottom of that room. As you guys can see, I'm running down there and I'm, I'm going to wind up stepping on another plate. And then you just want to repeat the process again. You want to find another pad on the inside corners of the rooms. You guys want to do this four times. There's four corners of the room. Go figure. And uh, you guys definitely just want to keep, you know, switching back and forth to be able to do that. Once you guys open all four corners of the room, you're going to wind up being able to get into the center of the room, which was originally closed off or blocked off. Now it's going to be open, and you guys are going to be able to get in there. And then you're stuck with this predicament of, okay, well, there's only two of you now. How do you step on four plates at once? Well, you can have uh, 
Like, I have a Loki Warframe on right now, so my decoy counts as a person. I could set that decoy onto another plate. Another thing that we can do with the two of us is we can both go into our operator modes, and we can, while we're, while our Warframe bodies are standing on, you know, uh, separate plates, we can then have our operators walk and step on the other four plates, I mean the other two plates that nobody's standing on yet. Once you get all you know, like four people standing on the plate at once, give it a second because it definitely takes a second to like load itself or, or at least for like, you know, the, the next door to unlock. So make sure you guys don't get off the plates too quickly once all four of you are standing on them. And once you see that top area open up, you guys are going to be able to get into that little portal area and you're going to be able to get yourself the coaction drift mod. So the next puzzle we're going to take a look at is the Cunning Drift puzzle. Now, basically what you guys want to do is you want to, when you see this room, you want to stand in the middle and you want to look for dripping water on the sides. And you want to shoot those plates where the dripping water is coming out so that a whole bunch of water starts pouring out. Once you do that, you then want to run around the edges over here where these pillars are and you want to shoot the plates that are holding down these little, I guess like uh, pop-up things or whatever, I don't even know what they're called, but you guys want to shoot the plates off of those so those will pop up. Once you do that, this enemy that's basically going to be like, you know, following you around and stuff is going to wind up like, I guess, cornering you and attacking you while you're standing on that. You want to get your timing right so that you jump just at the last second before he fires so that his aim is just high enough that it breaks one of the pillars open. Like the pillars are being protected and you have to open those pillars up. Now in between you breaking every one of these uh, pillars or, or having the enemy, you know, like fire at you and then hitting the pillar to break it open, he's gonna go into attack mode and he's gonna go into the middle of the map and he's basically just gonna either spew like this purple electric energy or whatever out at you which you don't wanna step in cause that'll hurt you a lot. Um, or he's basically just going to go into like other attack modes and try to hurt you. So you want to avoid these as best as possible and keep yourself alive. And then you just want to repeat the process. You want to stand on the next pillar that you haven't had him, you know, like shoot open. And you basically just want to do this four times. You want to just have him break all the pillars open. So once he breaks all of the pillars open, it's going to wind up unlocking um, like the portal in the middle of this room right here. And all you guys got to do is just jump through the portal and go grab yourself your Cunning Drift mod. The next mod we're going to take a look at is the puzzle for the Endurance Drift mod. And this one is kind of a pain in the butt. You're definitely going to want somebody that has, that's kind of a tank of a Warframe that has maybe a large health pool or just something like that. Because as you guys can see, in the middle of the map, there is this, I guess, like button you step on. And when you do, it raises a floor up. And now all these lasers are basically shooting at whoever's standing in the middle of the map. And they are losing a ridiculous amount of health. Now you have options. If you have other players with you on, uh, in the game, you basically want to have them run around and you want to have them keep shooting at these little um, like buttons that are you know kind of circling around this thing. As you guys can see, there's this thing, this like little tube that's filling up with water. And basically you want to have that thing fill completely to the top with water and once it does then you will finish you will have finished the endurance drift. Now there are certain corners in this uh you know particular room where you guys can stand in front of these like plates these uh these like up and down I don't even know what they're called but like these plates things. You basically stand in front of them and that'll get like one less laser shooting at the person that is standing in the middle to make it a lot easier so they take a lot less damage and they can basically endure standing on that you know, plate a lot longer than if nobody was helping them shooting these plates. So it is completely doable for you guys to do, uh, for, you to, for you to do this solo. It's probably just going to cost you a whole lot of uh, health pads. You guys are going to be dropping those like friggin' crazy. Um, there's, 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 there's no one way to complete this, but it definitely does take a little while. It's one of the longer puzzles that you guys have to be a part of in order to, uh, to actually, you know, finish it and unlock it. Because it does take a while for that tube to fill up with water. But basically, once you guys fill that tube up with water, because you've stood here long enough, and uh, and you've endured all the pain in the middle of the plate, um, you guys are basically going to just have a portal open up. You can go through that portal, and you guys can snag yourself the Endurance Drift mod. The next mod we're going to take a look at is the Power Drift mod. So when you guys get into a room like this, which it tends to be a very common room. I, I feel like I see this one more than, than most of the other rooms. But basically, when you guys get into this one, you guys want to look for these like, you know, orb-looking things that are stuck in the wall. And there's going to be four of them in this room, and they're all going to be kind of in like a, I guess like, you know, squared position, or not necessarily a corner, maybe more of a rectangle kind of 
you know, if you were to connect the dots of them. But you want to stand near the things, and they're going to pull energy out of you. So basically, your energy pool is going to be kind of like powering this orb. And once the orb gets fully powered, you guys will be able to tell because it's going to start glowing like a really bl uh, bright gl bright blue, and it's not going to pull any more energy out of you. Once you hit all four of these, the middle of the room is going to open up like a little stairwell, and you want to run down that. You're going to be able to go through the portal, and you guys are going to be able to grab yourself a Power Drift mod. The next one we're going to take a look at is the speed drift test. So basically when you guys see a room like this, awesome, that means you guys have found it. You basically want to shoot a plate that's sitting on the wall right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to unlock a door. And this particular puzzle is basically you just speeding through this little obstacle course, which is kind of a pain in the butt. You can definitely make it easier with a limbo as you guys won't be, be like you guys won't be able to take damage through um I guess like the lasers that kind of hit you or anything like that. And it will make it a lot easier. Now, if you guys don't make it through all the way to the end, the door's going to close. And you guys are basically going to have to start it over again from scratch. So, the, the puzzle luckily does let you start it over from scratch. So, if you guys do have trouble with this one, it's not a big deal. You guys can just keep running it and getting frustrated because that's just what happened to me. It's definitely a pain in the butt. But um, once you guys make it through the entirety of the puzzle... And, you know, basically you guys make it through one side and then you run the second side of the puzzle. There's going to be a pillar in the middle of the room that you initially started the puzzle off with by hitting that plate. And once you guys basically get there, you want to jump to the top of the pillar, go through the portal, and you guys will be able to get yourself a speed drift mod. The last puzzle we're going to take a look at is for Stealth Drift. Now, once you guys see a plate on the ground that looks like this in this room, this is actually the easiest puzzle in my opinion um, and the fastest one that you guys can beat. So all you're really doing is stepping on the plate. You're kind of like just speeding your way through to the other end of, you know, this like double room here. And really that's it. You're just getting to another plate. And uh, you're going to unlock a portal and you're going to be able to get yourself a stealth drift. This is by far, as you guys can see, like the just easiest puzzle that there is as far as the drift mods goes. So this puzzle that we're taking a look at right here is the, basically it's the Simon Says puzzle. It's kind of like a, a, a little music puzzle. And basically what you guys are going to do is you're going to wind up standing over here and you're going to activate this little switch, which is basically going to set off different notes. And you, you should have five total. So of all the buttons that are that you guys can visually see that are just on, you know, the level you're on and then it's one to your right, one to your left. You're basically just going to watch and see what lights up. And all you want to do is copy that pattern. So whatever pattern that, you know, like these buttons light up, you basically just want to mimic that pattern. Now a really quick trick that you guys can do is to get like a pen and a paper and basically draw the, the, the circles out that you guys are going to wind up standing on. So just kind of make like, uh, you know, like three circles on the left, three circles on the right, and then two circles in the middle. And you basically just want to mark them, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, as you know, the, the proper notes pop up this way, you guys can get through the puzzle without having to do it over a hundred times. If, uh, if your memory is not that good with Simon says and stuff like that, it's just a little hack that I do because I don't kind of really want to waste time, but it really, it helps out a lot and it gets the stuff done. Now, once you guys get this, you know, like fully opened up, you guys want to jump to the very top of this thing. And occasionally this is something good. You guys can uh, basically just break open this little container that's at the very top. And uh, once you do that, more importantly, you guys want to go find another container, which as soon as you walk out of the initial start point room um, and you walk through the door, it's going to be like near, it's going to be on your your left, I guess if you turn around, it's going to be on your right, whatever, just watch the video. It's going to be over here. As you guys can see, I wound up picking up a Forma. And that's rare, but it's just still a place where you guys can get Forma. Every time you completed that simple puzzle, you have a chance of getting just a free Forma. So it's definitely a cool place to go find those. So you guys, that about wraps it up for the puzzles that you can find on Lua. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Or even better, you guys can hit me up on Twitter and you get a uh, response from me probably a lot faster. Because there's so many YouTube comments and stuff that are getting left. Also, if you guys want to learn how to win Platinum over here, you guys can check out a link called Winning Platinum. It's going to be in the description below. We do Platinum giveaways over on this channel and we also do Platinum giveaways over on my Twitch channel. So you guys can follow me over there as well if you guys want to win some Platinum and stuff. We do that weekly.
Also, there's going to be tons and tons of videos on how to make yourselves platinum. I know a lot of you guys are getting extremely wealthy and everything like that based off of all the videos that I've been putting out and all the feedback I've been getting. So you guys can learn how the trade market works in Warframe and make yourself a ridiculous amount of platinum anyway. And uh, if you guys want to see walkthroughs, builds, comedy videos, just anything like that, links are going to be in the description below. But you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love your faces, and I will see you guys later.